some people are like pennies, two-faced and worthless. Now that's funny, but it's not exactly true because pennies are actually worse than worthless. I've gathered research from New York Times bestseller John Green, the United States Mint, David Owens, and Ian Austin from the New York Times, and Morally Safer from 60 Minutes, and they all agree that that little red coin you keep in your pocket or in between your couch cushions is a dead weight on the economy, and it's time we do something about it. Pennies are worse than worthless. As John Green said, things that are worthless are worth nothing, and pennies are worth much less than nothing. According to the United States Mint, it now costs 2.4 cents to produce each penny. And according to Coin Update, in the past 14 years alone, we've spent $58 million producing these counter effective coins. But you say you're like me and after every cash transaction you receive exact change and you end up with a stack of pennies what can you do with them nothing like cgb gray said you can't spend them in parking meters toll booths laundry machines or vending machines you can't even use them in atms but what if you took those exact same pennies and you set them on a cashier's desk no merchant in the United States is legally required to accept a pile of pennies as payment if they don't think it's worth their time to count them all out. So if machines fail to recognize pennies as money and people fail to recognize pennies as money, pennies fail to function as actual money and you're still left with your stack of pennies. Now what do you do with them? The first thing you could do would be to melt them down, to sell the scrap copper and zinc for what they're worth and earn a profit. But when people actually started doing that, the United States Treasury Department made it illegal. So that option is out. Your next option would be to scavenge your entire house for every stray penny, count them all up individually, stuff them into those infuriatingly annoying little brown paper bags, and then drive them off to the bank. Trust me, it isn't worth it. Your final option is Coinstar, the machine that charges you to take your money and convert it into a spendable form. I will say that again. You pay money to lose money, to change money that was already yours into something that can be spent. That is pathetic. So pennies cost more to produce than they're worth and fail to function as money, but they also cost Americans time. According to David Owens, the average American second is worth about half a cent. So if it takes more than a second to get exact change from your cashier, you are costing yourself time and money and time and money for everyone else in line behind you. And when this happens every single day across the entire country, it is estimated to cost us $30 million a year, according to Retire the Penny. We know this is a problem and it started because of inflation. When the pennies were first made, they were useful. In 1787, they had more buying power than our current quarter. You could actually get stuff for them. But as time went on, the value of our money went down and the value of the metal used to make our money went up. According to Morley Safer, from 2005 to 2010, the cost of copper has tripled and the cost of zinc has doubled. We know pennies are a problem, but we refuse to do anything about it for two reasons. The first, we're sentimental. We really like Abraham Lincoln. The second is that we are afraid of change to our change. And these reasons are ludicrous. We're not going to forget about Abraham Lincoln. And we've already made this change. We used to have a cent called the half penny, but as CGP Gray said, it was discontinued for being worth too little. And when we got rid of it, it had about the same buying power as our current dime. 
pennies cost more to produce than they're worth, fail to function as money, cost us time, and we would save ourselves millions upon millions of dollars if we would just stop making them. But I know you grew up with that childhood adage, see a penny, pick it up, put it in your shoe, and you'll have good luck. I am here to correct that misconception. Just leave it there. The amount of effort it would take to turn it into something valuable simply isn't worth it. You are better off continuing on your merry way and not dealing with the infuriating abomination that is the penny. And don't get me started on nickels. Thank you.